I just got myself a spacer laser. Yeehaw! Bow wow wow. Bark bark bark. Bowie wowie bark bark. Burp, burp, burp. Burp, burp, burp. Get over here! <laughs> Boom! One shot. Yeah, that was awesome. If it walks like a furnace and quacks like a furnace, <laughs> it's a furnace. <laughs> How does it feel to be owned by potassium? I feel like Shine Spark specifically does the Zelda command to try and line it up perfectly with when that timer ends. <laughs> Hiya, cupcakes. Is that what you do? Or is, does it just happen to be at the end? I just, I, it, it's now happened like three times where it comes up like right before I was supposed to, it's my routine. Got it. I love it. I love that. I love that so much. How is everybody? It is Tuesday. It is. It is Tuesday. My mic is not super loud. Yay. I didn't blow out everybody's headphones. We've got Shine Spark. We've got Rumi. Another day, another house at 1230 already. I actually kind of felt that way today too. I um, spent a lot of this morning on the phone once again trying to, um, you know, uh, f close out these accounts or at least notify people that my mom, you know, is has passed away. And I just feel like 
gosh, I just feel like I looked up at the clock and I thought, oh my gosh, it's 11.30. I have to take a shower. I gotta get odd in lunch time, lunch. Like, it's absolutely crazy. Uh, we've got Hayes, how are you? When I see, it's long, it's long. Everybody needs a long. At the beginning, it's long, it's long. Always reminds me of, it's long, it's long. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. <laughs> it's long, it's long. It's better than bad, it's good. <laughs> I don't know what song you are are typing the long to, but when I see it's long, it's long and the little music notes, that's what it reminds me of. I hope you're having a good Tuesday, Hayes. We've got Michael, who is currently in a crazy battle with his work. And we have AMD, I see you. And Lindsay, how's it going? <laughs> yes, yes, it's long, it's long. He's brave, he's literally as good. <laughs> he's better than bad, it's good. <laughs> Oh, I love that so much. Landrider, I just finished my first choir audition. Now to wait until tonight to figure out what choir I'll be in. Which choir? Like BYU choir? Like church choir? No, you don't have to audition to be in church choir. There are lots of choirs in the... I, I assume you're in the Utah area, right? Like you're into the central, central Utah-ish area, I think. Hey, it's Jane! Happy Tuesday. I choo choo choose you. University of Utah, acapella or chamber choir. Okay, all right, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Um, I was kind of, uh, I'm kind of biased because my dad taught at Utah Valley University back when it was Utah Valley State College and then it went to UVU. So I was a little biased about which university and whatnot uh, was the best in Utah, clearly. Um, but, um, I also experienced EFY, which is a summer thing. They call they now call it FSY, I think, for, for somebody's youth. I don't remember. <laughs> um, it was originally called Especially for Youth, and it was like a week-long thing where you went to a college campus. You stayed there for the week, and you had devotionals, and you had spiritual lessons and stuff. Best weeks of my teenage years, hands down. I loved EFY with every fiber of my being. Hey, it's Collector. Oh, welcome to the streaming space. It's Lonk and Susie Chris. Yes. And we're going to brainstorm birthday ideas today because you guys have given me some really great ones via. Got a notebook? <laughs> I don't know what this is. I just. You know what? I think this notebook came from my mom's house. I can't tell if that's supposed to be like a person with hair or if it's supposed to be like the weird wackadoo like body of a person running. I have no idea. Uh, my mom's family are BYU nuts. I share in that nuttiness. I just got a scholarship from the U. That's so funny because um, I, l listen, BYU is a great school. It's a fantastic, um, Oh, Gamescom, opening night stream, is it one? Okay, what is Gamescom? That sounds very exciting. Um, yeah, so so the colored marbles idea I thought was great. And then I really liked Collector's idea of um, the like scavenger hunt. I was already gonna possibly do a Korok hunt, so I can just turn that into like an actual oh, Korok hunt. Listen. I could print and cut out with my Cricut. I could I could hide 50 Koroks. I could make them little and hide them all over my house. Although Charlotte doesn't want anybody in her room, so her room is off limits, which I completely understand. She gets really overwhelmed when people are like in her space. And last birthday, um, all the little girls ended up in her room just going through all her stuff. <laughs> and I could tell she was really, she was really overwhelmed. Um, uh, maybe it is a golden snitch. Hmm. I don't know. Um, so all I'm all I know is my dad had slightly bad. Ex Listen, my dad graduated from BYU and my mom graduated from BYU. And you don't actually have to be a member to go to BYU, but they do have standards that they uphold that everybody needs to keep and uphold while you're there. Um, uh, but it's a great school. I just remember being talked to by a girl uh, fr from a girl in high school that was like, well, where are you going to college? And um, I said, well, I'm going to UVU. At the time it was UVSC. And she goes, ugh. And I remember thinking, I would never scoff like that at somebody's college choices because you have no idea what somebody's situation is. Like maybe I can't afford BYU. Maybe I didn't get a scholarship. Maybe I don't want to go to BYU. Maybe I don't even want to go to college. I didn't really want to go to college, but anyway, she said, um, 
uh, she said, I, I was like, that was a really kind of nasty sound you just made. Why, 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 why? And she was like, well, and she kind of looked around and she goes, it's open enrollment. And I said, so? And she goes, well, that means anybody can go. And I said, okay. <laughs> and she goes, well, I'm going to BYU. And I went, okay, let me roll out the red carpet. Um, but I also said, well, I go to UVU for free because my dad teaches there. So have fun paying for BYU. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't trying to be mean, but I just hated that whole mentality of like, oh, you're not going to BYU? Well, I don't like the mentality that you're a better member of the church if you go to BYU. And that is not something BYU advocates. That's something that's just this weird culture that some BYU students get. That is not what BYU teaches by any means. It's just a great school. They offer great opportunities. Both my parents graduated from there. Awesome school. Highly recommend. Um, but I did run into some people that were like, oh, well, you're a member, so shouldn't you just go to BYU? And it's like, well, maybe, but I can't afford it. And my dad teaches somewhere else, so I don't understand why I would pay if I don't have to pay. Charlotte's birthday idea. Hold on, Hayes has, has birthday idea. At the beginning of the day, she's got a stick. And at the end of the day, she gets a master sword. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while, I can just break whatever she has and be like, oh, that's broken. Now you gotta move on to a soup ladle. I do have one of those. Um, Michael says, uh, interesting work update. They told me my sexual harassment claims were unsubstantiated, but they ended up giving me a new supervisor anyway, which was all I wanted in the first place. Is it really that hard? Your workplace? Like, come on, seriously. Um, I hope that's the end of it as well. Uh, <laughs> Hayes is like, I could make it for next year's birthday. I just found out my dad's not, my dad is thinking about coming out to visit. Like he's trying to make the flights work. He's going to visit Joe first and then he's gonna come out and spend a couple days with us, which I think is awesome. But he's not gonna stay for the party. He's gonna leave on Charlotte's birthday, which is fine because we can have like a grandpa birthday the night before, which is totally fine. But I was kind of hoping he'd be here for the party. Um, Landrider's aunt went to UVU. I love their music program. Maybe not as prestigious as BYU, but still a beautiful sound. Yeah, UVU is great and it's growing and it's huge and it has now taken over like the entire like portion of my hometown. Like there's so much that UVU owns now. It's a great school. We love, we love, Lord. we love UVU. Um, but like I said, I'm biased because my dad taught there and because I got a lot of this attitude from people about BYU and me not going. And I was like, okay, well my dad went. And like my dad's directed plays at BYU. I was in the BYU dance portion when I was younger. Like I performed at BYU multiple times. Don't scoff at me for not going to BYU when I can't afford it. Ugh. It's grandpa, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, you're going to BYU? Let me just get on my knees now. I, I, I feel like I'm painting a bad picture. Not everybody feels that way. There are plenty of people, plenty of students who go to BYU, love BYU, it's a great school hands down, awesome school. There are also other good schools. I'm simply explaining the experiences I had when I was in high school. I had a couple kind of irritating experiences with people that clearly kind of sort of felt like they were better than me because they were going to BYU. But that's nothing against you. What did, what did, where did Landrider say they were going? Utah Val, no, Utah State, no. University of Utah, that's right. Utah State is where I went to EFY. We've got Trekkie, my parents went to BYU. I don't have perfect grades, so it's community college and UNLV for me. Yeah, well, I didn't have perfect grades either. Um, Rumi's like, I'm actually a better person for donating more to the church. Moneyness is next to godliness, I think is what they say. <laughs> some people think that, it's not the case, but some people think that. We've also got John and DJ, good to see you guys. Happy Tuesday. People grasp at anything to feel better about themselves, even if it is at others' expenses. I agree with that. Um, yeah, BYU is great, but um, it's just not the only great, awesome school out there. That's all I'm saying. This is my watcher shirt. I will say, so this is fabric paint, which I love. Um, instead of, um, I didn't do, I guess I could technically do iron on. Hmm, maybe I should 
Maybe I should try that. Because I feel like it's fading just a teeny little bit because I bleach it. <laughs> well, see, that's just, that's the funny thing. I feel like I started my Etsy at a bad time. Like, I feel like it wasn't the right time for me to do it because I had all these shirts up for, that were available on Etsy. But then my YouTube channel started to pick up and my Twitch views started to pick up and I suddenly realized Dad Bods and I had a conversation about it, like business kind of like, he has done like that online selling before and stuff. And he was like, well, it really depends. Do you wanna make it like a job? Like, do you want to run it like a business? And I was like, no, I just wanna make people shirts if they want a shirt. Like you can Venmo me and I'll make you a shirt. And he was like, oh, well then there's your answer. <laughs> I was like, oh, and plus Etsy, charges a lot of fees. So, hey, Salty, how are you? Salty, you gonna get in on this BYU discussion here? We're talking about BYU um, and how I didn't go to BYU. And so I was kind of looked down upon by some of my, some of my peers, but it's okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Because ultimately I actually ended up going to esthetician school and not using my dad's free tuition anyway, which is so bad, so bad. I'm the worst daughter in the world. Uh, um, okay, wait, Charlotte birthday idea. If you have puzzles, you can set slash hide those in different places as shrines. Uh, like puzzles, what do you mean? Like actual puzzles that they have to like put together or like come up with my own. Andrew was like, this is very simple. You just look up kids birthday party game ideas and just theme them Zelda. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that simple. Like, I was trying to think of something I could do with Ascend. I was thinking of like minute to win it type games. Um, but I can't like that because Brooklyn uh, BKO mentioned in, in Discord having games based off of the abilities. I don't know. The college elitism within people who aren't even in college yet needs to be checked at the door. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Cause like we were all in high school. So it was like, okay, you can't give me a hard time about where I'm going to college. Cause we're not even in college yet. You don't even, you don't even know if you'll like it there. I don't know. I hope she's happy. I hope she's happy. I really do. I hope she's happy. We weren't like good friends or anything. We were just in a class together, you know, whatever. Um, uh, oh, you didn't go to BYU? Unfollow, unsubscribe. I do have puzzles and you can get really cheap little puzzles at like Party City for like a dollar. You can get little tiny puzzles to put together. Okay, puzzles equals shrines. Um, and then I think Collector was the one that mentioned like a, was it an obstacle course or was it a scavenger hunt? I can't remember what it was. Mm. Salty's like, I went, that's where I saw your dad. Yeah, see, so my dad worked very closely with BYU. But interestingly enough, my dad struggled with BYU because as his theater, when he was theater chair, he had to decide which plays they were gonna put on for the year, right? Or for the semester or whatever. And um, uh, BYU always took the best plays. And then there were a couple, there was the Sierra play, outdoor play theater. I guess they had an in, indoor play stage and then they had an outdoor stage. So there was the Sarah, which did like had their own, you know, it was like a community theater. And then there was the Hale Center Theater, which was another community theater. And so by the time all they like threw in, were like, surprise, here's our lineup. My dad was like, great, I get the dregs. <laughs> like, I don't want to do Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat because everybody does Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. So my dad had to be very, um, he had to be very unique in his play slash musical choices because um, he had to kind of like circumvent what BYU was choosing to do and then what these other little places were choosing to do. Um, yeah, I have the marbles idea written down. I've got the puzzles in the shrines. I've got the Korok hunt. Uh, popsicle sticks to make rafts like Ultra Hand. Popsicle stick rafts. See, I knew you guys would come up with awesome ideas. I was talking to Andrew about it and I was like, you know who I need to ask? I just need to ask my community because everybody is so clever. I knew you guys would come up with ideas. Popsicle stick rafts. We do have a pool, like a little doggy kind of kitty pool. We could like actually make little rafts and see if they float or something like that. Uh, let's see, I am, fetch quests would be cool. How do you mean fetch quests? Uh, 
Collector went to an art and design university and all my high school peers definitely looked down on me for not following them to the top tier colleges. <laughs> John Steed says, just spend less time with your kids. <laughs> Yeah, I found this design on Etsy for like 99 cents or something, and I love it. And I've been meaning, you know what? This will be one of the giveaway decals. I can make this as a decal, and then you can stick it on your laptop, or you can put it on your PC, or you can put it on, I don't know. This this will be one of the giveaway decals. I need to write that down too, because I'm making a list. Uh, watcher. Um, the decals, when I send them out, I send them out with contact paper to go over the top of them, so you can push them down on the contact paper and then peel the whole thing off at one time and then stick it on so you don't have to worry about misplacing anything. I don't know if I needed to explain that, but like I was new to the whole decal game. Landrider says, I was just blinded by how many family members went there. Don't get me wrong. I would still love to sing with BYU singers. My mother was in it as well as my grandparents, but I also understand that BYU as a whole might not be the best fit for my schooling. It's a great school, but people who go don't need to shame other people for not going. <laughs> I also, um, uh, we had like a senior talent night. Um, uh, when I, I actually did musical theater at the other high school in my city. Um, we were direct rivals, but my school didn't offer musical theater and they did. So they released me after lunch every other day and I drove over there and I went to musical theater over there and they had like a senior showcase night. And my dad came and my dad was doing what he did. He was the chair of the theater department. So he was kind of scouting it out and getting a feel for who was going where just to kind of see what talent he was going to potentially be getting in his theater program. And he was talking to this girl who was lovely, awesome girl, great talent, awesome. And he went up to her and he was talking to her, kind of small talk. And then he said, so, so where are you going? Where are you going to college? And her dad stepped in front of her and went, she's going to BYU. And my dad was like, okay. And then he turned around and he looked at me and he goes, we don't want your kind anyway. <laughs> Which was obviously just kind of, my dad was slightly irritated uh, at that. But that that's the kind of attitude I'm talking about. This kind of haughtiness of being like, well, my daughter's going to BYU. So naturally you shouldn't be talking to her if you don't teach there. You know what I mean? And like, whatever, like, Whatever. Hey, it's Uber. How are you? I love that little emote. Is that a pigeon? I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm missing things. Uh, don't get me started on how many people have been doing newsies around here. So much newspaper. Um, I've actually never seen newsies. So sue me. Um, I was. My dad always did. Um, he did Grease. Very first musical my dad ever directed was Grease, and he did an excellent job. Loved it. Or use different shaped crackers and peanut butter to build the best of vehicles. Oh, <gasps> that's a brilliant idea, Chain. Crackers and peanut butter vehicles. I could get messy. Collector wanted to pursue, pursue design. So going to a top tier design school for me was way better than an Ivy League. Makes sense. I mean, and some people can get away with like not going to college. Ander got an associate's degree, but he doesn't have anything more than that. And he didn't even graduate in like business or anything. He just, he just has some savvy, some business savvy, and he's doing what he loves. So, um, oh, decorating paragliders. Kites slash paragliders. Whoops. I did, I think I mentioned this in the Discord, but um, I did find that you can find like compression sleeves for kids. I don't really know why you need those, but you can find those. And I could just use fabric paint and just paint the arm. Um, every time she sells a shrine, she's given one birthday present. <laughs> Big leaves as Korok leaves to race the rafts. Like Korok, okay, leaves. These are all such great ideas, you guys. I knew you would help me with this. <laughs> number one, Link costume. Number two, number one, number two, skydiving lessons. Sometimes I amaze myself with my ideas. <laughs> We're just gonna chuck Charlotte off the roof. Here you go. See if it works. Um, 
let's see, shrine presents uh, are cheap ones, but she can trade four of them in for a better one. <laughs> yeah, you get four pieces of something, and then once you trade that in, you get four Legos, but then when you trade that in, you get a set. <laughs> I love that. Not sure if it's a pigeon. I think it's a cute chubby cow. Either way, it's a cute chubby something, and I love it. Mm. I'd have looked at the girl and said, blink twice if you're in trouble. I know, right? Like, I can't, like, are you okay? Uh, debate on how much uh, one hates pumpkins versus mushrooms for Hateno. Problem is, I don't know how many of her, I'm actually kind of curious who is even gonna come because I realized she's the only girl in her little church Sunday school class. And then there's one other girl Oh no, there are a couple girls from our church congregation that are either a little bit younger than her that she gets along with or a little older than her that we could absolutely invite. Um, snacks based on different races around Hyrule. Um, Hyrule snacks. Oh yeah, if I were like a baker extraordinaire, I would make all sorts of like, make like bubble gem cookies and all sorts of things, but marbled rock roast. <laughs> A crow, oh, a cow, a crow. Sorry, I thought it was a, I thought it said, I thought it said cow. Oh, it's, oh, Trekkie says that's a crow. <laughs> oh, I thought it said a cow. I was like, that's definitely not a cow. That is definitely some type of bird, but. No, the party will be at our house. Um, yeah, we'll do, um, we'll do the party here. And it, and it really doesn't have to be like absolutely insane. I don't want to. I don't want to put myself out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I don't have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars I can spend on this party, but I do have a Cricut cutter machine, so I can make, I, I have an idea to make the banner. Um, those are being sold online, but I feel like I could probably make one. As long as I get the font, I can make one. Um, so I can make the banner. I could make the Korox. Uh, I think I would probably order balloons. I think they do have like Zelda Tears of the Kingdom themed balloons. Um, but these are great, great, uh, these are great ideas. If anybody, yeah, but I do have a cricket. Yeah, I've got a cricket. Uh, but if anybody has any other ideas, shoot them out in chat because, um, or let me know in the discord because, uh, that's coming up soon and I... I'm feeling like everything that happened in, you know, over the last two weeks, everything was, you know, so crazy. And I was thinking about so many other things. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, my daughter's birthday is in like two and a half weeks. I gotta, I might have to do some party, like some like cricket cutting and stuff like while I'm streaming. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, if you have any other ideas, um, let me know. Let me know either in chat or let me know um, in the Discord because I would love to hear them. Charlotte, you need 10 Sunday lions to enter this shrine, aka go outside to the surface of the sun and pick 10 dandelions. Dandelions, like, legitimately cannot even survive out here. Like, I don't see any dandelions. It's so hot. It's so hot. It's so bad. Our grandson made sure to remind us of his birthday next week. Yeah, Charlotte hasn't even mentioned it. And to be honest, I don't even know what to get her. Mm. Mm. Charlotte actually has handled the passing of my mom really well, but she's eight. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's really sunk in, um, but we are trying to <gasps> turn out all the lights, have, uh, and find some light switches blindfolded. It'll be like finding light roots. Okay. I have to write that down. You guys know my favorite. I loved the depths. Oh, the problem is f turning out the lights doesn't make it dark in my house because of, we're on the surface of the sun. So we'd have to find a way to darken. I guess I could put pieces of cardboard up in the windows to make everything dark. That's a great idea. I did love finding light roots. That was very fun. That was one of my favorite parts of the whole game, which is kind of weird because it was kind of not, I don't know. I don't know. Um, where did he say I was supposed to go? The shrine. Oh, I've already been to that shrine and I've gotten that key, so. Your face. Got the face key. Did any of you watch that? I know Chain did. Listen, can I just say, 
thank you, collector, but also not thank you for allowing me to reopen that horrifying, like, situation from my childhood where I watched that animated short about the diner. Why? Why would anybody? Why? Why? It was so awful. Oh my God. I couldn't even bring myself to watch your face. I wasn't gonna do it. Nope, I refuse. I hate it so much. I know. Collector's like, uh, you're welcome. No, like, I, I'm actually legitimately grateful. And I actually text messaged my brother yesterday. I said, do you remember that short cartoon we used to watch when we were kids where some guy went to like a diner and I'm not even go into I'm not even gonna go into what happens here because um it's my channel is family friendly. But uh my brother was like, yeah, I do remember that. And I said, you will never believe somebody in my Twitch chat today found it. And he just wrote me back and just said, send. So I did, I sent it to him. I don't know if he's watched it yet. Oh, I have a, oh, that sucks for you, buddy. Oh, I thought that would kill him. Magic staircase, secret staircase. What? Oh my gosh, yeah. On the Discord, there's a sh there's a link to the um, to this little short video called "Your Face." Watch at your own risk. That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> and and the diner is even worse. Like your face isn't even that bad. The diner is so much worse. But as I was watching it, I was like, oh my gosh, I remember all this stuff now. I had forgotten about like the carnival music. I'd forgotten about the guy in the pie. I, oh, uh, yeah, no, it's a bad, it's a bad situation. <laughs> terrible, terrible situation. Oh my gosh. Ander dressed as Koga handing out bananas. I actually thought, I actually thought about that. I was like, we need to do something with bananas. I assume, oh no, that was not it. Secrets are nigh? Okay. Oh, we were talking about all those movies yesterday and all those like shorts and animations we all used to watch when we were kids. Unlocking lots of memories for me. I didn't watch the normal horrifying things that everybody else watched. Oh my gosh, there it was. I assumed it was something like that. Nope, your face is great. Your face is like a song. That's what the music says. Your face is like a song. That's all I know. How was I watching these things when I was in first grade? No wonder I had nightmares all the time. My parents were clueless about what I was watching. I was constantly scared. I can't remember going to bed without feeling scared. I was just always scared. I was scared of the Sandman. I was scared of the Ragman. I was scared of that diner. I was scared of your face. Not your face, but that short. <laughs> Bill Plimpton. What's wrong with Bill Plimpton? Can you knock these apples off? <gasps> oh my gosh. Could you do that in the original? I don't, I guess I'll go over this way. Oh, I guess I can, nope, nope, that's wrong. Where am I? Oh. Okay, I think I know where I'm going. Um, she's turning nine. Yeah, she is. She's turning nine. Was anyone keen to the goat man story growing up? Uh, I don't know who the goat man is. Secret. Secret. That's what happens in um, Skull Monkeys. Skull Monkeys, when you discover a secret, it says, secret. I don't know if you guys picked it up, picked up on it, but that's what Joe and I, oh, 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 yeah, I need to do that. Okay. Uh, I don't, oh, oh, awesome, great. So I realized I have this bag of chips left that's just gonna go bad. So I decided to make that a channel point redemption until the bag goes. Oh, I should probably put a cool down on it though. Hold on. <laughs> just realized, so spicy. It needs to be a cool down. 
Um, Alexa, how many seconds is 15 minutes? Okay, cooldown of 900 seconds. <laughs> I just realized that's probably important. <laughs> oh, if you don't know, you dodged a bullet. The goat man wrecked me and my neighbor's psyche for years. Uh, Google the goat man story. Oh man, already. <gasps> Woo! The birthday card. Congratulations on turning nine. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of the hero. <laughs> that is a spicy meatball. Oh my. Literally a cool down. If it walks like a furnace and it quacks like a furnace, it's a furnace. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who is the goat man? Hmm. Woo child! That is a spicy chip. I feel like I'm about to breathe some fire. There's a fire! Oh man. Yeah. You take that. Oh man, I was oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Wait. Wait. Oh! Oh! That is good. Oh no. That is bad. <laughs> Can you think straight? That's how you're supposed to do it? Oh, okay, there you go. Alright, that makes sense. You should get a red light bulb and randomly change lights for a blood moon. <laughs> that is a great idea. I'll be like, oh, it's a blood moon. Everybody, all the presents get wrapped up again. <laughs> I saw some video, it was on Instagram, I think, where some guy was washing dishes. And then all of a sudden, like, a blood moon happened outside and all the dishes came back. <laughs> I've never heard of a goat man. I do not like the... <laughs> when the glow of the blood-stained moon, that is the face. Your face is like a song. <laughs> Turn your face into a into a drop like a country. <sighs> oh, I need some water. Bubbles, Dr. Pepper doesn't help. Oh, woo! <sighs> well. To another dungeon, I guess. Hero of time. Face shrine. Okay. Average hero's journey. Hero of twilight. Lord of the Rings. Link hero of the wild. Literal madman. Cannot be trusted in society. <laughs> oh, I love Link so much. Oh. Whoa! That was super intense. Usually, those little guys give me a little more time. This music is intense. Am I not getting anybody? How many hits do y'all take? Goodness. Or, or is this not? <gasps> oh, way to go, self. Lift? I beg your pardon. I remember this music! Oh my lands. I remember. To expand the Blood Moon, play a game that's like an elimination round, then activate the Blood Moon to bring back the players who lost so they can continue playing other games. I need to write this down. <laughs> Every time somebody spills a drink, as the glow of the Blood Moon, bing, there's your drink back. I really wanted to make some sort of um, pinata type situation, but I don't know. I know I'm crafty enough to do it. I just don't know if I'm willing to take the time. Mm. Either musical chairs or like... See, that would be easy because then we would just play Zelda-themed music. Or pass the parcel. 
with Lucky's dad's rules. Uh, that's from Bluey, just in case anybody was curious. With Tears of the Kingdom music, music fireplace, musical fireplaces. This music reminds me so much of, um, Xenoblade, weirdly. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to throw a pot at that? I don't have a pot. Oh, okay. Can I carry a pot in from another... Oh, can I? <laughs> nope. I have... So many questions, unless that's another... I feel like... I remember those elephant statues. This is my favorite music so far for a... Oh, that's right. What the heck am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to like throw you into the fire or something? Am I supposed to throw you at each other? Uh. <laughs> How do you kill these guys? Oh, I'm running out of life. I don't remember that at all from If it walks like a furnace the... and quacks like a furnace. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> those guys being beaten that way. Like I don't remember that at all. Pinatas were invented by Mexicans as a torture method. We realized they were great for parties. Yeah. And the rest yeah. is history. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember these yeah. elephants, but I kind of do. I'm gonna die. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, cool. They can just go through the elephants. That is great and good to know. Oh, I know this situation. Classic 2D Zelda situation here. Oh, I have two hearts. Yeah, I hear that little... <laughs> How does it feel to be owned by potassium? <laughs> I can cut that laugh it off, that miserable. laugh of Katie's, but I just find it... Oh, you're supposed to lift the elephants and throw them at that door. Okay. Um... So would that originally have been where it was a prisoner being beaten by the pillage people of a village town? You know what? You just never know. Uh, that technically would be considered spoiler slash backseating. If I can't, if I can't figure it out, I will, I will ask because I legit, unless I'm supposed to use arrows. Oh. Oh, oh, crap, son of a. <gasps> yeah, oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'm Michaeling right now. That, remind, that just reminds me of like the little guy in Monty Python hanging, clapping to the beat, to the Camelot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michael's just making things up now. Uh, all that for 50 rubies? Rupees? Well, okay. <sighs> I guess money is not a... Like, I guess I could use funds, but what I could really use is some hearts slash a fairy. Like, I could use those hearts. That would be great. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to lift this guy, toss him at the... Okay. Makes sense. Well, good thing I made sure first. Otherwise, you'd have looked at me like, seriously? No. No. I don't look at people... I try very hard not to look at people like that. 
Because at the same time, this is also a game I've played before, so I don't consider that, like, super heavy-duty backseating. Because, like, I should remember. <laughs> but I don't remember them... I don't remember them taking that much effort. But you know what? I don't remember a lot of things about this game, so... That's fair. Um... Okay. This music is so, like, pretty. Uh. Uh. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a... I thought a key was gonna fall. Uh, is it okay if I remind you of something regarding your current life total? Like in the game or like in my real life? <laughs> My current life total? Oh, you mean like the fact that I don't have a lot of ah, hearts? Because I definitely don't. What the heck are you? Oh, I hate that. Okay, all right. Aw, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Michael was invented by Twitch as a torture device. We realized that we needed a responsible adult and the rest is history. <laughs> All that work for 50 rupees. Can I? Oh, okay. Well, I'm out. It's so funny how, like, all of this... Oh. But there's a room with the thing. Yeah. Down here. Maybe I can go get my hearts from those. <gasps> okay, wait. Um, um, yeah, no, that's fine, Uber. Like, how many hearts I should have right now? <laughs> because I haven't actually, like, done any searching for any pieces of hearts. I've just kind of come across them and been like, oh, that's cool. I can't remember if I 100%ed I this game. Uh, way back in the day. Or... 100%, like, I can't remember if I got all the hearts. I don't think I 100%. I do think I got... What? The chess pieces? I'm having these flashbacks, but I don't remember. I think... Oh my gosh, I do have apples. Oh, don't I? No, I think I didn't have enough life and then I... What is this, like, face lotion I have over here? Oh, secret medicine. Oh, that's... Can I use that right now? Oh, and I have a pineapple. <gasps> Wait! That starts when you run out of life, right? I forgot I had that. Looks like good moisturizer. Um, I think I I think I didn't have enough life. I think I had like hearts that needed to be filled when I got those apples. I guess I'm supposed to do this. Uh, I hope I am making the right choice here. Maybe. Kickstart my heart. <laughs> Kickstart my heart. I don't think I've ever heard that song. Ah! Oh, you can't even hit those. Okay, good to know. Good to know. <gasps> oh. Man, I remember the least about this temple. Do I really have to use arrows for you guys? Apparently. Oh, that's a bomb. What? <laughs> okay, two arrows per witch thing. Yeah. I wish I were one of those moms that could like make like the most insane birthday party, but I'm limited on funds and I 
don't want to. It's a pretty wild side effect for a face cream. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Ooh, I understand. It's Alcondros. Okay, so Alcondros, I have a kid in my Sunday school class that I teach whose name is Alejandro. And for the life of me, every single time I go to talk to him and like say his name, I have to stop myself and go, Alc Alejandro. I always want to call him Alcandros. It's in my head. Now I can lift those things. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I have something for you. Yeah. Damn, maybe I should have used that. <laughs> That's okay. I can collect hearts. Oh, I'm glad I went that way. Way to go, self. Smart. Elephants! Or as Charlotte used to call them. Oh, elephants? Oh. No, no. Katie used to call them ovenets. <laughs> Baby ovenets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every single time I'm like, oh, Condros. No, it's Alejandro. Ugh! I gotta keep that straight. Uh Oh, now I can do this. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Money, 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 money! Yeah, I don't remember anything about this. This. Oh! I do remember that. Okay. Okay. So. I don't have a key. Oh, but there is a little place over there that I haven't been. Okay, we'll go over there. Timothy Ol Olio Hunt. Ooh, we're talking about Timothy Chalamet? My favorite. I guess there is no noise command, but it was a good gamble. You know what? It's funny that you say that because Katie, my sister, says that all the time. So I'm actually surprised there isn't one. I would have thought that something like that would have come up while they were here. But it didn't. I'm kind of shocked. Oh, that's why, because I couldn't... Yes. Yep. Seriously? Okay, okay, let's try this. Let's do that and this. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I was just singing this earlier today, and I was like, you gotta sing it not so low. Peach... Is so cool. Ah! And with my star, we're gonna rule. Peach, understand. I'm gonna love you till the very end. Peaches, 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 peaches. I love you. Oh, peaches, 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 I love you. That was better. <laughs> yeah, we do. We need a recording of Cage going noise. I feel like she said that a lot while she was here. Ugh. Oh, super fancy. Oh, it's coming. Okay. Yeah, I can't do that so low. <laughs> I got secret medicine, <laughs> secret face cream, secret. Oh, but you've already got some on, so let's put this back. I beg your pardon. In all of Link's inventory, you're telling me you don't have space for a second secret medicine? I'm sorry. Breath of the Wild Link and Tears of the Kingdom Link can carry the world on their shoulders, and I can't have another secret medicine? I am so mad. Okay, well, we know that's there. Tantalizingly. Heart. Ah, uh, didn't somebody do Underwater Voice and then I sang Peaches? I feel like I should have listened to that on the VOD, but I didn't, actually. Um, <laughs> I, I, I forgot to watch it or something. 
I did peaches with some sort of voice mod. I don't remember what it was. There's our key. Oh, I also, I'm getting a new... So my pop filter is super broken, and because I'm super cool, I ordered a microphone forever ago that, like, is super fancy. Um, but it broke, and so it's got, like, this part right here is all broken, and so when it's on my on my microphone, it, like, it's all flimsy and stuff, I finally figured out how to get a new one. I had to contact Rode directly. Be like, excuse me, yes, I'd like a new pop filter, please. Actually, when I reached out to them forever ago, yeah, I went to this dungeon and all I got was some stupid face cream. Um, uh, I asked Road forever ago if I could get a replacement and they said, we don't offer that part. And I was like, what? <laughs> you sell this microphone though. Like you sell this microphone. It's on Amazon right now. It's on your website right now. What do you mean? So I didn't really know what to do about it. So I went all over looking for like different replacement pop filters. And then I finally was like, I, I don't understand. No pop filters work for this microphone. So I contacted them again and was like, hey, so me again, is there like a pop filter you do recommend using? And they were like, oh yeah, you can buy one from us. And I was like, that would have been great to know months ago. Not to mention, it's not even on their website. I question the way you do things, Road. Excuse me, yes. I would like to buy a new cover for my microphone that I bought from you. Please, yes, yes. <laughs> so many crows. All the bouncing crows. Little bouncing crows. <laughs> yes, I bought this microphone from you. Please give me a new pop filter. I don't even know where, what I am going for right now. <gasps> I've never seen anybody do that before, Uber. You made like an emote with like four emotes. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, everything doesn't, uh, that doesn't make sense in this game can just be explained by, I think I know what that redacted means. <laughs> I have played this before. I do know how the ending happens, kind of. It is an odd Zelda game. I will give it that. Like, it's super weird, but it's great. It's cute. Big, big Snorlax. Yes, big Snorlax. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So anyway, oh, choices. I think I'll get the power one. Yes, agreed. Agreed. Salty, good move, good move. I do agree that. Agree. I do agree that. <laughs> now I'm just like cutting out words and not making sense. It's Napsy! Oh, what are you? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right. We're just. We're just. Playing. <laughs> Give me that ball! Just irresponsible. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what that feels like. Oh. <laughs> who who came up with these mini bosses? I I I I want to know. Somebody's like, well, it's like a penguin, but it kind of looks like Nibbler from Futurama. <laughs> Man, I cannot dodge that. Good gracious. It's, yeah. You know what? If there was a monster, oh, if there was a monster that lived under my bed that looked like that, I would kind of sort of be okay with it. He was kind of cute. Kind of. But, um, I, I, it's just like, who is, who is coming up with these mini boss designs? I don't know. I wish I could lift that much weight. I have started working out again, trying to, um, you know, buff up the muscles a little bit. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> I need, I'll, I need to channel Alcandros, the, the power of the Greek. 
Yeah. Oh, and apparently I also need a key. So, that's good. Oh, what? Ah! Oh, one of these situations? Okay. Oh, my. <laughs> I saw a video on, like, what was it? Instagram or something? You know what? These guys are just gonna be all over the room. And we're just gonna... Oh, dang it. And it was, like, one of those cars. No offense to any of you if you have one of these cars. But it has, like, the blinker that, like, goes from, like... It's, like, a line of lights that kind of move along the blinker. Instead of just blinking, it's, like, a bunch of little lights that, you know, show that they're turning left. And somebody taking a video of it. And as it was blinking, they were like, oh, yes, left, left, excuse me, I'm turning left. <laughs> I think those blinkers are cool, too, but I don't think I can afford a car with them. <laughs> Just made me laugh. I hate those little things so much. A lot. Uh, and I missed a whole bunch of things, <laughs> probably. Majora's Mask equals drugs. It's true. <laughs> Link's Awakening, Crazy Dream... Um, yeah, we're just playing stretch, I guess. Yeah, like that mini boss was super cute. He was cuter in this one than I feel like in the other. Oh, ah, everything is terrible. Oh my gosh. Ah! Ah, okay. Oh, oh, I'm missing buttons. I'm not pushing the right buttons. Ah! Okay. Feel like. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Glad that happened. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Dang it. I just totally screwed up my way out. Ugh. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. Um, yeah, you can catch fairies in bottles, but apparently they don't actually, like, come to your aid. Oh, I don't have a key. Oh, my gosh. They don't come to your aid if you die. You have to... <laughs> Speaking of dying... Okay, you know what? <laughs> I cannot get it together for this game! I keep screwing up my buttons! <sighs> Jump is why! As in, why did they choose to do that? Ah! <laughs> Just... I cannot. Okay, 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 okay. Jump. Oh gosh. Jump is why. Why they did it that way, I don't know. But I guess B is my sort. I can't keep it straight. I cannot keep this straight. Oh my gosh. That was from. What was that from? That was from uh, Banjo-Kazooie, I'm pretty sure, which is infuriating. <sighs> I just could not. It was just never ending. I was trying to focus on what I was trying to say. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> e oh. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> I'm not making any what sense. What is wrong with this game? That was from Metroid. Oh my gosh, Metroid Prime remastered. <laughs> it was so. I'm sorry. Yeah! I am so smart. Wasn't I just here? This is a family streaming. It is, it is, uh, is it allowed to speak about kids that aren't clean by themselves and a washing machine that is loaded with unspeakable filth? <laughs> what? My dryer um, is basically the lava from Mount Doom. It doesn't have like a setting anymore because we got struck by lightning. So it's just really hot all the time. And the timer ran out too. So we just have to, like it would go all night long. We have to like remind our Echo Dot, be like, hey, remind me to take the carpet or take the whatever. Oh, this has been my day. Spur. Our washing machine usually sounds like it's about to self-destruct <laughs> or like take off. Okay, something, something, something is happening. What is happening? When I go through, mistakes were made. How do, how do 
I break this loop? Oh. What? Okay, okay, we'll come back to this place. I still have... What? I still have to get two keys. This doesn't have a basement. <laughs> There's no basement in the Alamo. Okay, well, the only thing I can think of is to go... I know what I'm going to do. I used to play Splatoon with a streamer who had a point redemption for a set of 10 squats, an exercise that she could do while playing the game, but it still distracted her. It was fun to redeem it at key moments during battles. Don't think I haven't thought about something like that. Do I want to get strong and lean? I should just make it channel point redemptions and then you guys can make me get strong and lean. But at the same time, I know I can't focus on what I'm trying to do. And I don't want to just like quit the game and be like, oh, sorry, I've got to do 10 squats. Yeah, don't think that I haven't thought about it because I have. Totally. Oh, what? I was like, that's a guaranteed way that I would do my workouts. Instead of being like, nah, I'm not going to do my workouts today. <sighs> I cannot get my... Ah! Um, I actually have heard great things about Ring Fit. I've heard really great things about it. J-Hops has one. Uh... Can you... Will it blend? Okay, I think I know how to... Okay. Um, <laughs> you didn't... Unspeakable Filth is my new black metal band. <laughs> Man, it's amazing how many, how many bands Zybotch has. <laughs> so many bands. All the bands. I think there are hearts in here. I think so. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> really? Man. Stupid physics. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, maybe not a gym stream. I'm too self-conscious for a gym stream. However, happily, I would be happy to do 10 squats or like 10 bicep curls or something like that. And literally, I've been like, that's a good way for me to actually like do my exercises because then I'm held accountable, right? But like Salty said, You'd have to, I know people would redeem them like right before a boss fight or like in the middle of a boss fight or something like that. I just, oh. I have so many questions. Definitely no game pausing allowed. So you can't do lunges and fight Lynels at the same time. You'll never defeat the Demon King. I know that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, how, how does one do that? But I have thought about it. It would hold me accountable. Where where were those chess pieces? Cool. Good to know I have this compass now that I've discovered like 85% of the map myself. Um, what? There is still more. Oh my gosh. I watched a dude that does it morning uh, spinning on a bike while playing games. He does extra tough rounds based on channel points and stuff. I think Feral streams his bike things. He does a bike game, which is wild. Did I miss something earlier? No. Okay. Re uh, I s Napsy, you said Metroid Prime Remastered was fun. Listen, I have such a special place in my heart for Metroid Prime. The whole Metroid Prime Remastered was fantastic. I loved it. I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'll spend every single channel point I've amassed on them. <sighs> I've been doing push-ups, bicep curls, tricep extensions with a, with a resistance band. So I hold the band here and then I stretch the band out and do tricep. Ooh, ooh, that's kind of sore. Okay, you guys are going to laugh at me. I started at five. Per set, per, per five reps. Listen, I can't be going all in and being sore for the next like five days. So yeah. Oh, there they are. What is that sound? I don't like that sound. 
And it didn't play again. That's very Silent Hill of this game. Uh, oh, okay. Um, so uh, I do bicep curls, tricep extensions, push-ups, but I do them on that push-up bar over there. So I go down like past my chest and that hurts a lot. And then I do squats, slow squats with a five pound dumbbell in my hands. Five reps each set. I do two sets of five. And then if it walks like a furnace, I do like a furnace. Um, <laughs> it's a furnace. Yeah, no, I can't do one full push up either. So I do them on my knees with the push up bar. Five reps, <laughs> two sets of five. Uh, and then I do a plank, but you know what? I've discovered I hate planks because they're boring. It's like my, pro do I have to, okay, I already have one. So um, planks are really boring to me. So today I looked up some uh, like variations. So I'm not just sitting there staring at the clock going, oh my gosh, I feel like I wanna die. Like give me something to do. I am so much more willing to do an exercise like that if I'm like moving around or if I have something else to focus on than just a timer. So I don't know if I'm gonna do like walking planks, Spider-Man, yeah, yeah, walking planks or like Spider-Man, Batman, Spider-Man <laughs> planks or like, I could do I could do like pull-ups with dumbbells or I could do like plank jacks or whatever. Just give me some sort of variation. I don't wanna just sit there and stare at the clock. And Alcondros, here's a question for you. What plank is better for your body? Is it the is it the one that you do like like you're doing a push up or is a forearm plank on the ground better? Because you can also do like shoulder taps, you can also do like step ins and step outs or whatever. I just need some variation. I don't want to just sit there and look at the clock and be like, wow, I really hate what I'm doing and I still have a minute left. Thirty seconds. I've been doing thirty seconds. So I told Ander that I had started. You know, I was like, I was like, guess how many push ups I did today. I did 10. But you know what? Everybody has to start somewhere. I can feel it in my chest, my shoulders and everything. I can feel the soreness in my triceps and whatnot. And I can't afford to just be a complete mess for the next five days. So I had to start, I had to start low. I had to start really, really low. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, no pain, no gain. Um, what is it? What is it? Strange Planet says no. Oh, now I have to look it up. I got it as a shirt for my brother. No discomfort, no discomfort, no expansion. <laughs> no pain, no gain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <clears throat> uh, AMD, I weigh 180. I'd like to get down to 160, but I always give up my workouts after like a week or two. See, I just go on... I just go on walks every morning. I push Auden in a stroller. I have about... 50 pounds in the stroller, I think. I add two extra dumbbells down below, and then she's in the stroller. And then I wear 20 pounds on my back, weighted backpack. So I just go walk around my neighborhood for about 30 to 35 minutes. That's all I wanna do. I don't wanna work out for an hour every day, but I do want, like, weightlifting gives women curves. And so I want to have some, I wanna have some tone. And I just wanna feel healthier. For the, su the summer was hard because I couldn't go walking with Charlotte home. I couldn't leave her home alone, but I couldn't bring her with me because then she was like, I'm tired, I don't wanna go on a walk. And it was hot. I'd recommend starting with those bands and then working your way toward the ring fit because the ring fit is intense. Oh, good to know, okay. That's great. And Collector says, there's no wrong way to start. Much respect for taking care of yourself. Getting started is the hardest part. I actually like the way it makes me feel, but I do start it out and then I just, uh, there have been times over the last little, uh, over the last little, I think over the last couple months where I've actually gotten to a point where I was really happy with the gains I was seeing like in my arms and I didn't, I don't feel like I ever saw any gains. How do I get into that room? I beg your pardon. Oh, a key. Okay, I have one of those. Um, uh, I don't feel like I ever really saw much go, saw much change with my legs. And that is where I gained all my weight through Auden, with Auden. When I was pregnant with her, I gained weight in my hips and my thighs. So I'm mostly wearing the same size I was before I got pregnant with Auden, but they're just a little more snug around my hips. I am not a big person. I'm a pretty petite person, but I'd like to get back down to the size I was before I got pregnant with Auden. That would be great. Um, but I don't feel like I ever really noticed Hey, what do you guys do? What? 
whoa. Oh, are you supposed to like, oh, I think I remember. They're supposed to land like face up, right? Weirdly. It's kind of interesting. Can I just set you down? No, of course I can't. Are they supposed to be on these green things or are they just supposed to? What? Um, Salty says, start as small as you want. I met a guy once who had more meat on his bones than I do just from doing the motions very deliberately with no weight or even a bar. Yeah, I've actually seen that too. In bar, B-A-R-R-E, like that's very common. Um, it's kind of a yoga type ballet inspired thing. Let me tell you, bar, I don't care. All Conros. Have you ever done bar? You are a power lifter. You are strong. I want you to try bar and I want you to get back to me and let me know how it makes you feel. Bar will kick anybody's butt. I don't care who you are. I don't care how in shape you are. Bar is insane. I used to do bar, actually. I used to do like the videos. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's insane. It's totally bananas. Uh, because bar never gets easier because there's always one more inch you can go lower or one more inch you can go up on your toes or whatever. I've seen videos of like power builders or like people that do uh, like super, super strong guys do bar, reduce them to like nothing. Like they were just jelly by the end of the class. Um, but there's uh, there's a, a bar that you can hold on to that has like two resistance bands that have like straps on them. So you can either hold on to them or you can put your feet in them. And I really want one. It's called Stretched Fusion. I think it's like 50 bucks. I haven't taken the... Um, I haven't actually taken the plunge and gotten one yet, but I really want one, I think. I think that'll be my magic bullet, obviously. I like working out. It makes me feel good, but only when I found walking, I really like walking, and then I really like doing strength training. I don't like running. I don't like anything that's high impact. No, sir. I don't like kickboxing, any of that stuff. Like, I like it, but it doesn't feel good on my body, so. The gym urban legend, when a skinny person comes in the gym and claims that they'll become the biggest and strongest, everyone will laugh except the biggest and strongest one there because they themselves were at the position when they started. That's incredible. That's amazing. You're right. There's no wrong way to start. Just start. If it's taking one walk a day, if it's, you know, or taking a walk a day, I don't understand. I don't understand horses. <sighs> Lame. Okay. Planks on 10 push-ups. Better than no push-ups. Planks on the elbows are better for working the core muscles more effectively. Doing planks on the elbows puts your body more horizontal to the floor, which forces your core muscles to work harder to stabilize you. Okay, that's good to know. To fight the soreness, you'd have to know what stretches to do for arms and shoulders. Yeah, I did some stretches back today, and it was, like, really... <laughs> There's an exercise where you powerlift Roseanne? Yeah, it's called Stretch Fusion. Um, yeah, yeah. So it comes from ballet. It comes from, uh, it comes from doing, um, ballet. And a lot of it is done like up on the toes. You do a lot of plies. You do a lot of plie squats, stepping out, stepping in. A lot of it is ballet focused, but there's also some Pilates in there as well. I actually used to do bar pretty regularly. I, I did it on the, um, I did like these, I, I joined something, it was like 15 bucks a month and you got unlimited exercise videos via their website. And I loved bar for a long time. It was really great, but it's hard. It's really, really hard. Please provide a tip. What the heck? Am I supposed to like, I feel like you're just supposed to throw them until they jogging in place for five minutes. I hate, I hate jogging so much. Like if you ever see me running, you should run too. Cause it means, Something's chasing me and everybody's in danger because I hate running. Oh, I hate it. Do you remember the, the way a knight moves on a chessboard? Um, bold of you to assume I know how to play chess. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> how does, how is those things? Yeah, I'm just chucking them, but nothing's happening. Red and black? Is it two spaces forward, one space left or right? What? So I'm supposed to like... What? What? One, two... Huh. I don't 
don't even know. The floor is a chessboard? I mean, yeah, I guess. Um, have I ever played tennis? I have played tennis like two times and I did not enjoy it. Tennis is too high impact for me. I don't like the high impact. There are a lot of really great workout videos on YouTube. They're called, well, you can find them anywhere. Low impact cardio workouts. My personal favorite uh, are the Total Body Project. I love the coaches. I love their workouts. I was on a huge kick of theirs for a while. Katie and I were doing them together actually. Because Katie's bigger, so it's harder for her to do anything super high impact. So we were doing them for a while, but then our schedules got off and we just weren't able we weren't able to do it. Hey D Scheidler, how are you? L shape? Oh, it moves in an L shape when you throw it? Oh M goodness. So Okay, well not in the L shape I'm looking for. What the heck, man? Oh, maybe that one goes the other direction? Oh! <gasps> Wait a minute. Is it supposed to be... Are they supposed to be up? <laughs> like, obviously. They aren't doing the thing. <sighs> Am I supposed to, like, hit them into each other? Why are they even here? What else is supposed to happen? Stand one space back? Like, back here? The math is not mathing. In this case, grab the black one, begin on the left green square, move down one square, and right two squares, then throw the piece to the left. Whoa. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Stand on the green square. No. Stand on this green square. Okay, stand on the green square. Grab the black one. So begin on the left green square. Move down one square. Right, two squares. And then throw the piece to the left. Yeah, that's what I did. Am I supposed to toss it from, like, up here? Three spaces? Oh! What? I never would have figured that out on my own. Not in a million trillion years. Oh, that just opened the door. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, Susie learned something today that I'll probably forget because I will never play chess. <laughs> Bless! Oh, what? Okay, I will accept that. I think I remember what you get for the secret seashells. Yeah. Horses in real chess uh, move two spaces forward, but these horses move three spaces forward and then one space sideways. Well, this is not real chess. <laughs> this is not real chest. <laughs> okay, okay. Where am I going now? Oh, oh, I have a key. Okay, I think I, I, uh, oh, oh, there is a, uh, uh, there is a chest down there. Whoops. Okay, well, that also worked out in my favor. Ugh! Pests! Ugh! <laughs> you! Ow! Oh. I just need to stop walking into rooms and being like, cool, there's nothing in here, because there's always something in there! They don't move the same as real chess pieces because that bothers me. They didn't even set it up like chess. Knights don't move like that far on a chess board. I know, right? Well, like I said, bold of you to assume I even, I even know how to play chess. I think somebody tried to teach me how to play chess and I was like, uh, oh, there, oh, oh, I understand. There is a chest in here. Wait, no, that, no, no. Can I function? No. Oh. I forget that in this game, you can literally face any direction. Whereas in the Game Boy game, you could only face... 
um, left, right, up, or down. There was no... You couldn't be in a diagonal. Wait, wait. Yes, you could. I'm sorry. Susie was wrong. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was easier, though, because you were not using a joystick. Wait, could you beat an angle? Um, Suze, new Suze, channel point redemption Suze. ward <laughs> reward. Susie plays chess. <laughs> great, great. So happy that I got the map now. Whoa. How? How do I get over there? I. Um. Oh, I think I understand. Maybe. Yeah, this is a, this, this, this dungeon. This is quite the dungeon. Ugh! Oh, it's really close. If it walks like a furnace and quacks like a furnace, <laughs> it's a furnace. <laughs> furnace. Freaking love my siblings so much. We had such a good time. We are tentatively planning a memorial for my mom in Boston in October. Charlotte has a fall break in October. She wants to come with me to the um, to the memorial. If it walks like a furnace um, and quacks like a furnace. And so <laughs> we're trying to see if we can I might find a way to make right that happen. Now. Obviously, the best way to make that happen is to Oh my gosh, do it I don't like this place! The fall break. Oh, beans! <laughs> beans, beans. <laughs> the magical lentil. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh. I knew it. Oh, um, you were all insane. But uh, apparently, and I should have known this, but apparently a plot of land costs in the cemetery where my, I think my, oh, that's, that's not the, I am just a mess. I can't even. A plot of land is three grand. Starts at three grand. I didn't think about that. I just thought about a plaque and like planting a tree for my mom. I didn't think about. I was just like, hey, we'll just dig here. Fine. This looks like a great place to put my mom. So um, that's something we kind of have to figure out. Obviously, my mom has some funds in her uh, in her bank account, but that's all frozen right now. And my mom did have life insurance, so that will help us with the, you know, with the. Um... For sure. Oh, can you do this? Maybe it's just not powerful enough. Maybe I just have to... Nope. Okay. Never mind. <gasps> this did not send me where I thought it was going to send me. Okay. Magical lentil. <laughs> yes. Beans, beans. Yeah, yeah. I did not mark the staircase symbols, and that is my bad. That was not great. That was definitely not great. Um, so uh, potentially I will be, hopefully we're planning on doing the uh, memorial for my mom in October. Cause I want to do it sooner rather than later because my aunt is not in very good shape. And I'm afraid if we wait too long, I don't know. We have so many plans, so many things, plans, so many things. I, I Don't remember <laughs> how I should have marked the staircases. <sighs> the more you eat them, the more you set them. <laughs> oh, Edna. How do I get over here? Like, what? Unless, I mean, I got into here somehow because I remember coming to the boss door. How did I get in there? Uh, well, the only other staircase that I have. Oh my gosh! I just made a huge been to is this no, one I did not. over here. That's so far away. Big brain time. No, we can do it. It's fine. It's totally fine. We can do it. Wait. 
I think this way. Oh! Great. Way to go. Way to go, Susie. I like saying Hail you Mary. You did it. My Way Hail. to go. Hail Mary. I like saying Hail Mary because my name's Mary. <laughs> Joe also came up with something a long time ago. I remember we were. Um, well, that just deals my pain. <laughs> we were. Oh, I keep forgetting about Joe, guys. I have a key. Do you use that key? We were peeling wallpaper off of the walls in our basement bedroom and my brother came up with his this character that's very similar to Edma, Edna named Mordecai Lipnicki and that was hysterical <laughs> Mordecai Lipnicki because you can't follow me he was the one that would come up with he would he would call things like um lemonade was legendade <laughs> An 11 was a legend. Oh yeah, this room. Oh no, that just goes outside. Oh, I remember now. What? <sighs> this is gonna be an uphill battle trying to backtrack. What the heck in heck? All I see, oh no! Oh my goodness. I see it now, I see it. What a waste of, like, literally everybody's time. Where is my little... Yeah! Oh, man, we're so I am far so smart. away. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, can I... Nope. Yeah. I cannot. Yeah. I didn't know that one would be so popular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's from Gravity yeah, Falls. Yeah, I had yeah. just... Yeah. You were like... Tyrone! Yeah. It's a minefield. A minefield, Tyrone! So great. I love it. Okay, so hopefully we'll get this dungeon finished today. Yeah. Like, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? It's already two. Yeah. Great googly freaking moogly. Okay. Yes. I will take that, please, and thank you. <gasps> what? Wait! Is there a way to like go back to the beginning of the dungeon? Oh, I don't have an ocarina. <laughs> Wasting our time. I'm out. <laughs> okay, so I need it to be blue? Ah, my gosh! No! Oh. Okay, I don't have to go back as far. Okay, all right, okay. That makes sense. Ugh. Okay, I thought I had to go, like, all the way back. Nope, nope, don't have to do that. Wow, this... Wait, wait, wait! I need it to be blue. Ugh. Like that. Yes. Yes! Okay. Good thing I got an arrow. <sighs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But I really need a heart. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I see where the other staircase is. I don't remember where to get the ocarina in this game. I didn't even remember there was an ocarina in this game. I totally did forgot that tidbit. Hey, handsome. This is, hey, handsome. This is Lazy Susan calling to say hi. Hi. Freaking, what's her name? Jennifer Coolidge. Great, top tier voice acting. I got hit by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I can do this. Okay. Now that we have wasted so much time. Oh yeah. I remember this place. This place is where I had my slight mental breakdown. Yep. I remember. Can confirm. All right. Yeah. Oh, this is where I want it to be. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, hurry before they get here. Oh my gosh. Okay. I know how to do this now, kind of, maybe, question mark. Oh, what? It's up there? Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. One, uh, uh, yeah. Hallelujah. Exactly my thoughts. 
I forgot it existed and forgot how to get it, then found it by accident, and dope, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot. I went and talked to a fish named Manbo, I guess, who is asked me if I had an ocarina, and I was like, no, I don't even know. I could get an ocarina in this game, completely forgot. Which is kind of lame, because thinking about it now, like, we need a musical instrument of some kind. I only have two pots. I think these guys can, I think you can kill these, oh, yep, I think you can kill these guys with bombs. Slash a bow and arrow, maybe? <sighs> I feel kind of guilty killing yeah. those things. Yeah. Get on out of here. I want to say I was tempted to do these dungeons with the pencil and paper next to me, but it's really more like I gave into the temptation without bumbling around without, oh, to keep bumbling around without a pencil and paper, like a middle school math student. <laughs> Oh, these... What? Okay, well, I do have lots of bombs, so that's cool. He's like, no, I, I reject your bomb. <laughs> Rude. You can't do that. Oh. Oh. Eat it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chess. Can't wait to watch that one. Where are you going? Where? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, beans. <gasps> oh, I don't even have to be. Oh, okay. Yeah, they give you an opportunity to leave because they're like, hey, if you run out of bombs because you really suck at this fight. <laughs> oh, what? Uh. How do you tell? How do you tell? How do you tell? It's a mystery. I did. <laughs> Fell into the depths. Depths aren't nearly as cool in this game. <gasps> I beg your pardon. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! No! Is there any rhyme or reason to this at all? Yeah. No, he's like it no. has to be this way. It, must it has be to be perfect. Way. No, no, no! <laughs> I will not settle for anything less. Oh my gosh, that one cracks me up. That one is so great. I don't remember what I was talking about, but it makes me laugh. Oh, yeah. hey, it's KM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Why are you not collecting? Boom, one shot. Yeah! Oh my gosh, this is awesome. totally not where I thought I was gonna go. Wait a minute, 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 wait a wait a minute, 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 be fine. Oh, that's where I came in, right? Yep. Yeah. So if you lose, so if you lose out. Oh. Oh, I do have to go up that way. Got it. So, that was kind of pointless. For now. That's all right. It's okay. It's all right. There is no time wasted. Let's go, not burst! Because it's not about the time. Oh, no, it's you. about the friends we make along the way. Hey, it's nuclear! Oh, gosh. How are you? Oh, ten bombs. Oh, I can see the shadow. <laughs> I know where to jump to get that. Makes perfect sense. Good thing for jumping. So, this was the first ever... I'm sorry. Can I not... Can I Big not brain access time. that? That's, that's... I'm, like, underneath it, right? What? Fine. You know what? I didn't want those bombs in the first place. Oh, these guys again? Okay. Okay, how did I do this? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, this is different. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, what? Um... No, the original game did not have stamps. And I'm curious if the original game had... 
I don't think the, oh, maybe they did. The original game had, um, like I opened that chest with the secret medicine and it was like, we'll just put this back for now. I don't remember any Zelda game doing that. It was like, you got it and you just had it. And if you had it, that was too bad. Maybe? I don't, I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. The floor tie color? Oh! The floor tile color. Okay, so like this. <gasps> I understand. Wait. I thought I, oh. I don't think that's right. Nope. That one makes me laugh every time. Oh, 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 that was good. <gasps> I understand. Because if I stand here, it doesn't go there. And if I stand here, it doesn't go there. If I stand here, it also doesn't go there. If I stand here. Oh. Did I not open that chest? Okay. Oh, it did? Oh. Totally worth it. Although, that is not a key. Where is the key that I need to get to? So <laughs> ah, this dungeon. Where is the key? This one also makes me laugh. This music is beautiful. I really love, I really love this music. Oh. <laughs> I just, I feel like I'm going to throw something. I need a key. Oh. Okay, there's still this, this door right here, which actually, it's not showing up on the map to have an extra room right here. This room is weird. You go through it and then like you repeat like back here for unknown reasons. Um, but, but I don't. Why, why, why? <laughs> I guess for right now, We'll go down the stairs and mark the stairs <laughs> so I know where they are. Uh, believe it or not, it was better in the original, but the remake is awesome. Oh, original was great, and I don't think the remake is better than the original by any means. I love the original, and of course the original is nostalgic for me. Um, the remake is great. I do love the original a lot. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to put a stamp. I'm using the heart, not because I love this place, but because that was the first one. There are certain things I really love about the remake. Oh, that put me out here? And this one leads... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are all the rupee color values in the same the same from game to game? It's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I technically have the original on the Zelda game and oh, on the Zelda game and watch. I just have not had the time to actually play it. This one leads to this one. I do remember oh, that, because no! I remember going in oh, here yeah! and thinking okay. I was gonna come out here, but oh, then what? I didn't, and I was hugely confused. But even if I go down this staircase, it's still... No. Wait, what? <sighs> Blue was one and green was five? That just is wrong. No. <laughs> Should be always. Green is one, blue is five, red is 20. Is there a 10? 
I think it's just 20. Red is 20. Purple is 50. Silver is 100. Oh, uh, in Twilight Princess, they have an orange one that's worth... I can't remember how much it's worth. I just remember Twilight Princess gives you way more money than you know what to do with. This chest is secret medicine. Right, right, y'all. Yeah. But, but, but there has to be, and this goes outside. <sighs> um, the uh, Game & Watch was released for the 35th anniversary of Zelda. I'm still surprised they didn't release like Twilight Princess on the Switch. But nobody asked me. That's fine. I haven't heard any like boop, 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 boop. I haven't heard any of that around. I'm missing a key somewhere. I guess lift up every elephant statue that I can because, oh, there's a bird. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's right here. Great, good, great. I'm so glad I was here. Man, it would be really helpful if they marked these rooms on the map. Like, hey, this room has a tone in it. Like it doesn't have a chest. You know what I'm saying? Silver is 50? Oh, in Breath of the Wild. I was thinking Twilight Princess at first and I was like, nah, I think it's purple. Oh, hey. Now I just go back this way, right? Yeah, uh-huh. I still have questions. Remaster means Nintendo's getting 60 more bucks from you. That's true. You know what, though? If they were to release Twilight Princess on the Switch, I would buy it. Woo! Oh, that was awesome. That was good. Way to go. Little Link, little Lonk. Good. Good for you. Yeah, this is exactly where I want to be. Great. I'm so glad that this whole dungeon happened. <laughs> so glad I did everything. Okay. It's time to get serious. <laughs> As if I haven't been serious up until now. Um, I looked it up. Link's Awakening did that. Did what? I'm sorry, I'm missing things. I don't know if Nintendo will add Twilight Princess to Nintendo Switch Online. I think they would release Nintendo Switch Online or I'm sorry, I think they would release Twilight Princess as their own, like, as, why the crystal? To open a treasure chest, use the pots around it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hooray! To the nightmare's lair. Um, I don't think they would add it to Nintendo Switch Online. I think they would just release it in its own... They would give it its own release. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Twilight Princess, you need five heart pieces. I was slightly irritated about that. Oh, blue rupees? Oh. Well, you know what? I think because I didn't play it originally in color, it didn't make sense in my head. I didn't really think about it. But then once I started playing Zelda games in color, suddenly the color meant it wasn't just reading, you got a green rupee or whatever. Maybe that's why? I don't know. Okay, we're going to the nightmare. Just layer. I think I know how to get there. For sure. Oh, they might add GameCube to Nintendo Switch Online. That's an interesting idea. I hadn't thought about that. Uh, with the green one being five, only found in one place. So interesting. I... Okay, I think we're almost done with this place. Yeah. Sweet. Good. Eh. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Um... Uh, all I know is I missed the random giant blue 100 rupee. Oh, me too, from the Oracle games. Yeah, every once in a while you'd get this giant rupee. It would just like pop out of the ground. You'd be like digging or like cutting up grass or something. And you'd just get this random gi big giant, big chungus rupee. And it was so exciting. It was so fun. <laughs> I spent too much time doing that. No, there is no such thing as too much time doing anything. 
If people paid full price for Skyward Sword on Switch, they'd do it for Twilight. Yeah, that's what I think. I think they would, um, I think they would release it as its own. Wind Waker as well. Game & Watch wasn't known or popular here in Germany. A lot of Germans were confused when Mr. Game & Watch was a playable character in one of the Smash games. <laughs> I had completely forgotten about the Game & Watch. Like, I didn't even realize. I didn't even know what it was. I guess I'm doing throwing pots at the wall because I... Okay, well, they're preparing me with bombs. Yeah. Wait, haven't I? Oh, yep, yeah, okay. I remember, remember now, yep. That was the one, <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't mark those two cases. Oh yeah, I remember. Oh my gosh, that song, the Chattermax song from Bluey is like absolutely unhinged. <laughs> Oh, there are like, um, lanterns that are not lit. Oh, that's helpful. I have one, right? Yeah, yes, yeah. That was nice, that was good. That was good and great, or whatever. <laughs> okay, right before the boss fight. I love this command, because it's like Susie loses control at the end and just lets the spirit of chatter max. <laughs> I don't even do a good impression of Chattermax. After, oh wait, Salty, you said something about being in the middle of the boss fight? Where? I think I'm still in the middle of the final boss battle in this game. I was going to finish it before Tears of the Kingdom came out, but they had to do the early release. Oh. So you haven't actually, no, oh, I'm not mad. Listen, these chips actually kind of taste weirdly good, but they are spicy. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like some spice just only went down this side, but not this side. That's weird. I just love junk, trash, garbage. I do. That's why I go walking every day. <gasps> Ooh. 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 Plus, they remastered Metroid Prime. Originally, re release was on the GameCube. I hope they release. I hope they remaster the second one, because Metroid Prime Two is the greatest of the three. I love them all. Oh, you! Hey, dummy! <laughs> what even is this game? Ooh, okay. Oh, this is facade. Okay, I do remember this guy. Oh, except I forgot that. Oh, somebody new just came into chat. Give me a second. Hold on. Hang on. Focusing on the tiles that are threatening my life. This music is unhinged, too. Hey, it's Silent Techno. How are you? Happy Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, I was saving those. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. He's a face in the ground, but he hurts you. Got it. Got it. Got it. Whoa. No. Here's a moment. <laughs> oh, I still, I still feel spice. Do I need to turn it up for you guys? Oh, Trekkie can hear it. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, you need time to bomb your face. I do remember this, but I think I remember this because he shows up in like multiple Game Boy Zelda games. They really liked this boss. They were like, ooh, yeah, that is a good boss design. Face in the floor. I think he, I think he's around in a lot of Zelda, uh, game, <laughs> Game Boy Zeldas. Oh, I'm ready, baby. <laughs> it just reminds me of like Nick Jr. Like, face here. <laughs> oh, what? 
I just died. Or I just fell. Yeah, yeah. It's like face from Nick Jr. If the windfish wakes up, everything on this island will be gone forever. And I do mean everything. Even you. Well, that's cool since I... <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I've never had that happen before. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I did get a heart container, and I feel really happy about that. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I get a total of 20 hearts. Wow, that's a far cry from Breath of the Wild. Or Tears of the Kingdom, or whatever. DJ can't hear it, although that's probably due to the pounding, pounding techno I'm listening to. <laughs> Trekkie says he can hear the game music. Um, and John Steed says, I hear the game fine, but not the music. How interesting. I don't know. Maybe GameCube would come to Nintendo Switch Online, but I feel like they wouldn't ever mount it. I feel like Twilight Princess is too big of a release. That's what I thought, actually. Lindsay, I was like, is, this, is, he, is he making a joke with, with techno? Um, I had a feeling that the boss was going to be that face in the floor. Since it was face cavern or shrine or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I never understood. Yeah. Why make a Zelda game when you're pretty much only in a dream world? I don't know. Because it's fun to play through, man. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, looking back now, you know, we have lots of really great Zelda games, but like at the time, Mountain Tower. Okay. Which? Oh. Is this Eagle? What's it? Ah, uh, that's in this game? Oh. I hated Eagle's Rock Landing Tower, <laughs> whatever it was called. Oh, I hate that place so much. That is my least favorite. Oh, that's my least favorite temple, shrine, hangout place. Ugh, I hate, what is it called? Eagle's Landing? Eagle's Nest. Eagle's... But how much would a non-HD version of Wind Waker and Twilight Princess suck on Nintendo Switch Online? Hmm. That is a good question. Do you really feel like there's a big difference in the quality of the game when it goes to Nintendo Switch Online? Oh, yeah, of course there is, because I played Majora's Mask on Nintendo Switch Online, and it sucked. Oh, it made me mad. <sighs> what is this called? Eagle's Nest? Eagle's Landing? Eagle... The there are also eagles under the floorboards. Because <laughs> there's this over here, but then there's also this place. And I can't remember this one very well, but I do remember Eagle's Tower. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Either way, it's terrible and I hate it. A lot. Oh, that's the one with the different levels. And you gotta, oh. <laughs> Ooh. Eagle's Rock Landing Tower, a legendary Zelda location. <laughs> um, Techno, did you just buy a Wii U? I didn't even know you could buy those anymore. Um, seems weird, but also, why is there a Koholint Rock and Mabe Village ruins in Breath of the Wild? That is a great question. Why? 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 Uh, the Game Boy Zelda era had a thing where so many based, so many were based outside of Hyrule. Still love them all. We'll see, and that's kind of what I would like. Um, have I been inside this house? What is inside this house? Oh, I think that's Dompe's house. I think so. Okay, I'm supposed to go up to the mountain. Ugh, we're supposed to go to that Eagle's Landing Tower. I think it's called the Eagle's Tower. I think so. Okay, where am I now? I'm in the ancient ruins. Okay. I would love a new Zelda game that doesn't take place in Hyrule. I think that would be great. It would be a nice change. I think that would be great. Oh, I want that up there. How do I get up there? Oh, <laughs> it's just a hop, skip, and a jump. 
pigs. I would love a new Zelda title that's outside of Hyrule, for sure. Is your issue with online service or just Majora's Mask? Uh, both. Both is good. No, actually, I don't have any, I didn't have any issues with the actual online service. I didn't notice any issues at all. But I have been told by people that they have the original and that the controls and everything were better when they upgraded it for the 3DS. So they said, um, I probably would have had a better time playing it had it been on the 3DS instead of the original from Nintendo, that they, that that's the one that they put in Nintendo Switch Online. But honestly, I just didn't like the game as a whole, just kind of like how it was played and, and it just wasn't my favorite. I did not love it. But I will admit that having better controls probably would have helped me out. I think I would have enjoyed it more if I had had better controls. Because that was part of my complaint. It was very frustrating. Oh, see, I ate the apple. Can I get in here? Oh, nope, here comes the owl. Um, plus, most of the work is done for Twilight Princess HD asset-wise. I'm just recompiling it for the Switch. It's just recompiling it for the Switch. What Techno means is that they made the games better and re-released them. The Nintendo Switch Online versions would be GameCube graphics. Oh, that's true. If they did release like a like the Twilight Princess HD or if they were to remaster it or whatever and port it to the Switch, it would be a better looking game. It would be, you know, like Metroid Prime Remaster looked so much better and it was all the same. They didn't make any changes. They just made it look better. Back in the day, the Game Boy games are pretty much their own thing. More like spin-off kind of approach than actual main game. Whoa, I missed a lot in chat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's Techno's like, I did! Used! And Wind Waker. Uh, haven't played the GameCube Zeldas. Oh. So does that mean you haven't played Twilight Princess? Because Twilight Princess is the best. Go east. Um. Um. Master, how are you? Well, Pre Metroid Prime Remastered has some significant control enhancements besides the graphics. I guess that's true. I didn't really think about that, but I guess that is true. I mean, they just kind of improved it overall. So if they were to release a Twilight Princess and have it be improved overall, I didn't feel like it needed to be improved. How is those things? Ugh. That doesn't help me. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I don't understand. Oh, that actually totally screwed me over. <laughs> Got it. Excellent. Um, happy B day for tomorrow. Hayes. And in my arm twisting way, Michael, happy birthday to both of you. That's right. You guys share a birthday. Happy birthday. I don't understand how to get that piece apart. Ah, oh, well, moving on. We have a, a saying here, <laughs> which poetically translates to skill issue. So the reason I did not like Majora's Mask was because I sucked at it. <laughs> In a radical move, the next Zelda game makes you play as Zelda. Turns out it's a lot of waiting around. Oh, everybody's been asking for an actual um... Uh, they'll, they, they, everybody's been asking for an actual, uh, like, game where we can play a Zelda for a long time. And everybody was hoping Tears of the Kingdom would offer that. And they didn't, but they, not to spoil this for anybody, I don't want to say spoilers for Tears of the Kingdoms, because I know there are people that haven't beaten, beaten it yet, but, but I feel like they made Zelda a more, um... She's she's a lot more has a lot more of an active role in the game as a whole than I feel like she ever kind of did in any of the other ones. You know what I'm saying? You know what I am saying? Why is my why is my timer? There you go. Okay. There it is. There it is. When Twilight Princess and Wind Waker does release on GameCube and Nintendo Switch Online, remember my name. <laughs> Um, 
okay, wait. Techno says, I've been playing and discovering all the Zelda games with my son. Twilight Princess will be the last mainline game we haven't done. So have you done Skyward Sword yet? Listen, I loved Skyward Sword. I thought Skyward Sword was great. Did, was it my favorite of all the Zelda games? No. But was it fun and super just exciting? Sure. Oh, I do remember this. I could not do this last time. So here I am now, but that still doesn't help me because there are rocks everywhere. Oh, I do understand. You get it. Um, Twilight Princess is the goat. And honestly, honestly, I don't even entirely know why. I can't even really put my finger on why, but it just is. Just, just don't, just don't question it. Oh yeah, I remember. There's that guy. He's like, hey, just just so you know, I'm gonna, um, I am gonna be lost later, so keep your eyes peeled, because I will be lost. Ooh, I do love this music so much. This is, like, originally from Link to the Past. Chiron, how are you? Happy Tuesday. Welcome. Techno says Skyward Sword was fine. Good story. Such a slog. I do kind of agree with you. It was a long one, and they do kind of drag it out. But I did enjoy it. I liked it. I had fun. I didn't mind the motion controls, like, at the very beginning. You know, I, I didn't really mind them. But when I went to play it a second time, I was like, mm, okay, I feel like the motion controls are a little, a little cumbersome. Whoa. I need to... Do this right, because I feel like what's gonna happen is I'm gonna move one, get one, and then when I go out, all of them will be open. I know it, I just know it. Nuclear says, imagine playing as Queen Zelda, trained as Hyrulean Knight back when she was a princess, and she has to rescue Link. And she's the actual key to unlocking the true power of the Master Sword because she actually awakening, she awakens Fee again. Oh my, that actually sounds super fun. I would play that. I'd play the heck out of that. Are you kidding? The Peach game is coming out. Oh, that's true. That's true. They are doing a Peach game. So this is the same as Link to the Past? Okay. I feel like this one needs to go over here. Money, money, money. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Rude. Um, okay, okay, okay. And then, nope. Oh, shoot. This one. Nope. Can't do that. Did I already screw it up? Technically, you can play a Zelda. Just play Age of Calamity. Oh, well, there you go. Have not played that yet. Um, Sounds like a quality game idea. Yeah, get Nintendo on the phone. Hey, I got a game idea for you, please. And thank you. Hand you over to Mr. Nuclear. Icon Master says Skyward Sword almost ruined the series for me entire, entirely. I love Skyward Sword. I thought it was great. Um, I think if I were to play it again, I would definitely play it on the Switch without the motion controls. I would... I don't own it. Um, I couldn't really bring myself to to throw the money down on it when I was like, well, I technically have it for the Wii. But streaming a Wii game with motion controls is very different than just playing it, like, sitting on your couch. Fee was the ultimate personification of the game itself. <laughs> I will say Skyward Sword had one of my favorite boss fights. That was, um, Kaloktos, I believe, where you had to, like, rip off his arms and, like, hit him with his own sword. Very cool. I loved that a lot. But then there were also some of the worst bosses, like the one to the pirate ship, sand ship, pirate ship. Yeah. I loved the pirate ship as a whole, and then the boss looked super exciting, and then it ended up just being Mike Wazowski's girlfriend. And I was like... Okay, Nintendo. I feel 
think I already did this wrong. No, I didn't. No, I think I did. No. I pronounced her name as Phi. Oh, I always pronounced it as Fee. <laughs> fee, Phi, Fo, Fum. <laughs> Playing Skyward Sword on Switch with the controller was fine gameplay wise. Okay, that's good to know. I don't, I don't, I don't wanna. This has to come up from the bottom. Wait a minute, what? Oh. Like, I have to push that up. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Fee was so robotic and unemotional. She really was difficult to connect with. And on top of that, she was extremely handholdy. I agree with both of those things. I do feel like she was not great personality-wise. She was just a robot. Um, and she was very handholdy. Uh, I was like, I got this, Fee. Like, thank you, but I think I'm okay. Um, Midna is my favorite um, helper. She had so much personality. She was spunky. You kind of didn't like her sometimes because she was kind of mean, but at the same time, she really grew on you and you really grew together as a team. And I feel like Fee, I do feel like the, the moment with Fee where you say goodbye is kind of sad, but I don't know. It doesn't hold a candle to Fee <laughs> for me. I, I don't know how to do this. So I'm just going to, nope. keep thinking you can only move each one of these things once right are you supposed to come down from the top of that or are you supposed to come up from the bottom Skyward Sword also has two of the best dungeons in the whole series oh tell me what those dungeons are what are the best ones what do you love Fee is like having Twitch chat backseating your every move. <laughs> it kind of is. Fee, I, I do wish there was an option to like turn her off, you know? Like, like play through without her telling you everything, right? I don't know how hard that is, but I do kind of feel like she was kind of handholdy. Master, your Wiimote batteries are low. Yeah, Fee, I fudging no. It's been pulsating on the bottom right of my screen for almost an hour. <laughs> At least she tells you, right? But I guess it shows you. Uh, the German translation spells her as Fi. Interesting. If I retry the room again, though, I think it opens all the chests. <laughs> I'm usually good at turning off women, but there's no turning off me. Fi. Fi, Fi, Fo, Bum. Listen! Oh, Navi. Like, I love ya, but... No! Oh. <laughs> Dang it. That's gonna be a baddie. Yeah. Dang it. I thought I had it. <gasps> but I don't have it. Dang it. Crap! Totally screwed this up. You know what? It's fine. Beans. I almost envy the kids that play the Switch versions. Ugh, they've got a lot. To, they've cut a lot of their dialogue, so it makes the ending not as emotional as it needs to be. <sighs> you know what? I didn't even have to open that because I can't open the second one. Can I push this back? No. Once one one move. One move per rock. That's all you get. One move per rock. She's only less annoying in that that you can ignore her like you ignore Navi. That's true. You can just, like, she does her little ding ding or whatever. Oh, all there was was a freaking chet. That was it? Okay, I'll take that. Hey, be saucier. <laughs> that was it. That was all. That was everything. I stressed and stressed and stressed. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh no, you're gonna open it and it's gonna be... Oh! What? Oh, maybe I do get a second chance. Wow, okay, if I could do this without getting hit, that would be great. Um... Oh! But now, oh! No, I got it, I got it, I got it. Wow, he can jump really far. Um, Ancient Cistern was a great time. Skyward Sword has some high points. Okay, Ancient Cistern and the Pirate Ship. Okay, yep, that's, that's how I feel. I thought the Ancient Cistern and the Pirate Ship. I loved everything about the time stones and the desert and all that stuff. I thought that was a phenomenal mechanic. I thought it was great. I really loved the Ancient Cistern. That had probably some of my favorite music out of the entire game. Ancient Cistern had the coolest boss. Pirate Ship had the lamest boss. That's right. Yep, we gotta open them all. Okay, well, this did not lead me where I thought it was gonna lead me, so... Oh, that's because it was a bomb wall. Okay. All right. Is there a cap for rupees? You are near the eagle's tower. Beware of the bird. Yeah, freaking hate the eagle's tower. Oh, you gotta knock over those pillars. That is ingrained in my brain as being one of my least favorite. Oh, I need a key. What did it say, go east? Yeah, okay, here I am, I'm east. <laughs> go east, I don't have a key. You're supposed to get a key here. I thought maybe that's what would be in the, like, treasure chest situation, but apparently not. I envy kids that get to play everything on the Switch, because the Switch is just so nice and lovely, and I love the Switch. <laughs> like, Charlotte has a Switch light, and that's pretty cool. But kids will never know the struggle of, like, the Game Boy... Having to use like your little Game Boy light <laughs> over your Game Boy in the car at night when you're driving, like you're on a road trip. Oh, I remember. Pepperidge Farms remembers. Ugh. I don't have a key. Don't tell me I didn't, I'm making all this where all this anti American bird of prey hate. <laughs> Listen, I don't have anything against an eagle. Oh, I see this. I don't have anything against an eagle. I just don't like their tower. But like this particular eagle tower. Ugh. Maybe it won't be so bad this time. Who am I kidding? It'll totally be this bad because I struggle with dungeons. <laughs> I really struggle with these types of dungeons. I don't know. Unless like the owl just like drops it off. He's like, hey, buddy, wanted to help you out. So here you go. Or maybe I am supposed to... Yeah, yeah, I need a key. He said go east. I'll bet the key is like hanging out in that bush. Boo. We're gonna try anyway. Huh? A keyhole here? It says bird keyhole. Okay. Oh, what the hole? Where does this put me out? Whoa. Okay. I used to steal the bow in Link's Awakening DX. Everyone called me D-I-E-B, thief after that. D Deeb? Deeb? Did I pronounce that right? Oh, what? I went so far down. <sighs> okay. I know what I need to do. Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> on the NES. Kids will never know what it's like to have to feel like you had to blow on your game cartridge to make it work where you were actually probably making you were actually inevitably just making things worse. Ah! Blowing on the cartridge. Ah! <sighs> I know, just use a send. 
how am I ever supposed to, like, how would I ever, yeah, okay, keep trying, pig. No, no. Wait, how do I get back up there? Oh, I get down. <laughs> Got it. It would be really nice if I had, like, the little flying bird, you know, like in Link's Awakening. <gasps> oh, I do remember this. Okay. I remember. Ooh, what a waste of all my time. <sighs> For the love. They still do it in the remake, though stealing is much harder in the remake. So wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. You steal the bow in Link's Awakening. Wait, steal the bow. Oh. <laughs> Word of advice? Don't die. Yeah. You mean like running out of the 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 shop? Oh, that's right. Wait a minute, I do wait a remember minute, that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, okay, I do remember that. Yeah, see you later, everybody. I have business to attend to. I need to go find a bird key somewhere. Maybe the guy has it. He's like hanging out up there. I didn't go talk to him. Okay, so let's start this like section over Mary, again. My name's Mary. This great balls of fire. Okay, okay. <laughs> How does it feel to be owned by potassium? I feel like those just always follow each other. <laughs> it feels pretty miserable. I could have cut that out, like the laugh of her saying, it feels pretty miserable, but I decided to keep it in. How do I get over there? Oh, I think I know. Uh, oh, beans, I thought I could... Beans, beans, the magical land. If it walks like a furnace and quacks like a furnace. Hey, just a heads <laughs> up. It's a furnace. I really want to do some community streaming gameplay on this. Why is my time all not walking? Oh, there it is. Uh, Label Day is coming up, and I would... I would love to do some, this is where I didn't go. I would love to do some gang beasts. If anybody's interested in doing gang beasts, we could also do Among Us or we could do Fall Guys, which is also fine. But I would really love to do some gang beasts. If anybody's down with gang beasts. <laughs> A banana that can't say it's owls. Where is this leading me? Well, are we going? <gasps> that is a board key. That is one ugly board. <laughs> that's from that's from Homestar. Homestar one oh. It's dot com. Okay, okay. So I'm in the white place. Oh, that's where that's where I came from. I don't understand. Oh? I don't remember this. The <laughs> redeem, as I like to call it. I don't even know what to call that. Wascally banana. Oh! <laughs> what? How the fruit? I thought I made it. <laughs> Spoiler, I did not. Let's go talk to that guy who is lost. Does the shop owner still electrocrete? Electrocrete? Ele <laughs> Electro cute you the first time you come back after stealing? That's a great question. I don't know. I could try. That is bananas. Uh, here's a house. Somebody lives up all the way up here. Oh, I remember! Oh my gosh. They can fly! Flap, flap! <laughs> if I'm not mistaken,
mistake, mistaken, an uwu something wadim was mentioned when I joined. Oh, really? I don't remember. But now, see? Cut, cut. Uh, do you want a pineapple? Because I have one. <laughs> um, Electro cute. <laughs> he does. And it still counts as, it still counts as a death. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm. If you cut it out, we'll never know how to feel about being owned by potassium. <laughs> I have these vague memories of like, flying a chicken? Oh, look! There's a chicken thing! A weather vein! Okay. I should have known. I know this is an electric violin, and I know Hayes is not down with the electric violin, but I really love this music. I kind of give it to... I, I don't know. I somewhat get tired of these things because every single time it's like, You got a piece of power! Oh, you! Oh, oh, oh! I thought there would be something special over here. Nope. But it has to stop you every time and be like, You got a piece of... Oh! You got a piece of power! And I'm like, yeah, uh-huh, that's, that's happened, happened like a... A whole bunch of times now. You don't have to stop me every time and be like, hey, look at that. You got another piece of power. Where's this chicken? I think I'm supposed to ride a chicken. I think so. We're gonna have to sign off here. Oh, it's time for me to go wake my baby. I don't know if I'm going. Uh, he said something about chicken. Oh. Oh, this leads me. Oh, no, that's really far away. Uh, Hayes is like, I'm OK with all sorts of violin. OK, so I'm talking to this guy like, where is your magic chicken? I need your magic chicken, please. Is it golden? I think that's Twilight Princess. Well, I have a pineapple. So that's cool. Chickens these days don't have the fighting spirit they used to. In the old days, they could fly. But now, see? Cluck, cluck. It's a lot of food you're giving there, buddy. Okay. Cool. Great. I met a magic chicken the other day. It was delicious. And he will electrocute you every time when you steal and come back. Whoa, dang. That's savage. Well... This is a good time. This is a good this is this is a good time for me to sign off because I have to find some chicken, I think. So uh Wooigi. <laughs> Take a chicken for a spin? Can I leave with a chicken? I don't think I can. Nope, I cannot. I seriously, I'm having these memories of like Using a chicken? <laughs> yes, what is this chicken you speak of? You mean a cuckoo? Uh, but this is a good place for me to sign off because we got to find a magic chicken, I think. I think so. I would prefer to hear orchestral instruments, but that must be the same for everyone. Everyone fan of Adles. I also prefer orchestral, but... Um, but this is where, this is where I'll leave it for today. I have to go get Charlotte from the bus here momentarily. So I will save twice because I always save twice. But a few things. I have a church activity this coming Saturday. I, I have these announcements going for the watch party for Gravity Falls this coming Saturday. It, it most likely will happen, but there's a chance it might not. Because if I do, if I go to this church activity and if Auden doesn't nap and all that stuff... Obviously, I can't really do it if Auden isn't napping. So, um, the plan tentative plan is that the watch party will happen this Saturday in the Discord. Also, Labor Day is coming up. That's a holiday here in America. I understand not everybody who's here and, and everybody has that day off. But if you do have that day off and you want to do some, like, community gaming with me, I would love that. Um, I'd love to do some Gang Beasts. So, uh, I think... Collector said Gang Beasts for the Switch is on sale right now. Um, 
but you guys saw Gang Beasts and it's hilarious. So we can have a super great time playing Gang Beasts. I'm also open to Among Us, but I think I'd rather keep things more community based rather than having other people come in and join. I can do that with Among Us. Like you guys said, I can cover the code or whatever. Um, but there's also Fall Guys, which we haven't done in a long time. And I think you only need eight people to fill a lobby at this point. And I feel like we could probably do that. So I'm down with any of those. Um, thank you so much for all your ideas for Charlotte's birthday party. I will keep everybody um, posted on that. Uh, and then um, there was one more thing I was going to say, but I don't remember now. Oh. So tomorrow will be Link's Awakening, and then Thursday I will start whatever indie game is voted for. So the voting will close on Discord. It'll close on, um, uh, okay, wait. You didn't miss much for Gamescom, but you have to see the trailer for Thank Goodness You're Here. I'll post it. Sweet. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Watch party should happen on Saturday. I'm planning on it happening. I have a church activity that day. I'm hoping... I can do the church activity and get home in time to have Charlotte go down for her nap. Um, obviously, if she doesn't go down or whatever, we might be able to watch a couple episodes, but the plan is for it to actually happen. Yes. Please post that trailer. I love um, I love uh, watching game trailers. Charlotte's birthday is in September. Um, but uh, if we do Fall Guys, would I be able to connect PS4? Yes. Fall Guys is cross-platform, so you can play on anything. Among Us is the same way, so you can play on mobile, get console, whatever. So yes, Fall Guys, I believe, is cross-platform. Gang Beasts is not. So um, Gang Beasts, it would have to, you'd have to be on the Switch. Um, uh, I know, I put air in there. You're right, Outer Wilds is indie, but Outer Wilds is a bigger title, so I was planning on doing Outer Wilds after Zelda. Um because it's technically indie, but it's a bigger title than like, I think right now, Nobody Saves the World is in the lead right now. So if you'd like to um, uh, uh, if you'd like to, sorry, I'm thinking of like a head, like I have so many things in my head. Um, if you would like to vote for the indie game, I think it's between Nobody Saves the World and Superliminal right now. But Outer Wilds is my next kind of bigger game that I will play after Zelda. So tomorrow we'll have more Zelda and then Thursday, Friday, we'll do Nobody Saves the World or whatever. That's the one that's in the lead right now, but we'll do whatever it is. So voting will end Wednesday night, tomorrow night. Um, so anyway, those are my things. But um, yeah, Fall Guys is cross-platform. Gang Beasts is not. What time did she fall asleep? Okay, so I need to wake her up. Will you go wake her up right now? And then I'm just signing off. Um... Oh my gosh, you can create your own courses. Okay, well, I'm not a maker, like with Mario Maker and stuff like that, but that opens up a whole different world. That's really exciting. Um, so this is my sign off now. Those were my kind of announcements and everything. Obviously, if you're on the Discord, you'll know all of this stuff and I, I post that and like updates for upcoming events and things like that. But um, thank you, Alcondros. Don't you forget, you matter. Every single one of you matters. This world is a better place with you in it. And you never know what somebody's going through. So always choose kindness if you can. I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate all the support. You guys come in and hanging out with me. It's nice to have my life somewhat kind of back to normal. Um, things will never quite be the same. But, you know, every day I pick up a little more of the pieces. So I love each one of you. And um, if it walks like a uh, furnace, <laughs> quack like a furnace. <laughs> It's a so I'll see all of you guys tomorrow. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day, your night, wherever you are. And um, just be excellent because you are excellent. Continue being excellent. Oh, I got to let that play. When I'm a year older on Thursday. Yeah. And happy birthday to Michael and to Hayes. Oh. <laughs> and don't go follow that up, which is great because that goes dancing i guess these also play on my thanks for watching screen but you guys are amazing and i love each one of you so you guys just keep just keep being awesome i love you all and i will see you guys tomorrow Suze, 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 Suze. <laughs> How does it feel to be owned by potassium? <laughs> it feels pretty miserable. Eehaw.
Well, that just deals my pickles. See you later.